It was an impressive win by San Diego State. Double digit win, and it was good to shut up Jalen House because he is someone that has come into Viejas Arena in the past and has made a lot of noise, riled up the crowd, beaten San Diego State like they did last year. They beat San Diego State, obviously, when they were at New Mexico, and it was a big sold-out crowd. I knew that this game was going to be competitive, obviously. These are... I mean, this, these last couple of years, obviously, with Jalen House on New Mexico and San Diego State being San Diego State, it's been a fun rivalry to watch. And this, this was a, a fun game to watch for sure. And the Aztecs, on the right side of it, they had a big lead first half. And then I believe both teams scored the same amount of points in the second half. So San Diego State obviously had the advantage there. But yeah, Jalen Ledee averaging over 20 points a game this season. Over 20 points tonight. Um, 11 points, I believe, in each half for Jalen House. So kind of limited him. It wasn't like a 30-point game or any big explosion like that. I think the big key for San Diego State tonight, they shot pretty well from three, over 40% from three. And New Mexico did not shoot well from three. Uh, they were really struggling, definitely in the first half, from three. Um, and then in that second half, San Diego State with the defense getting the turnovers and going, Darion Trammell going to the hoop, Jane Ledee just making the, the, the simple jumper, San Diego State finding the right pass, Elijah Saunders, back-to-back -back threes, Bird with the, I think he either stole it or he got the pass off a steal, and then the alley-oop to Saunders. I mean, what an athletic play that was from Saunders. But, yeah, I mean, it was a fun night, especially the second half. That was a fun second half. Um, to watch and Aztecs fans brought it again looked like a pretty electric atmosphere there at Viejas tonight so the only thing that I don't want to say dampen because I don't think that's the right word like I'm excited about this win but it would be different I think I'd be even more impressed if it was on the road you know it's impressive that they're winning every game that they play at Viejas Arena but what are they going to do on the road because Mountain West I know they have a great history in Vegas during the Mountain West Tournament. But what are they going to do during March Madness? What are they going to do the remaining games that they have on the road? They have, I believe, two more games at home. San Jose State is one of them. Um, they play Utah State coming up. That's not at home, uh, but that's on Tuesday, I believe. That's another tough matchup. So, like, what are they going to do there? Is this Aztecs team going to start progressing on the road and start playing better on the road, closing out teams, or coming back from deficits on the road or are they going to be undefeated at home which is what we hope but are they going to be undefeated at home in the regular season and they still kind of have those struggles on the road and they don't win the mountain west and then they have to go win the mountain west tournament which they can do um, they're going to get into the tournament i think they have five quad one wins uh, which is pretty impressive considering some of the injuries um, some of their road troubles and just the schedule that they've had this year. So it was an encouraging win because like, you know, this is two wins this week, Colorado state and then New Mexico, two good teams. And now they got Utah state coming up. So it, it's a good couple games here. And then if they can beat Utah state, that's a, a really good stretch of games there for the Aztecs. Um, I, I just am curious to see what, how this Aztecs teams does, on the road to finish out the season.